Hello my fellow Shogun 2 players! Zarip here again with the same tons of people. Hello! 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 Hey. Hello! Yeah, and with all hey. that hellos, if you watched recording of the first game of this match, uh, you should know that we are sitting in a team speak of Arcanic Clan. And uh, just to make you know who we have here, it's uh, Majutsu, Boss Tycoon, Russian Prince, Helikeon, uh, Goat Mill, uh, Ark, and uh, once again, wait, uh, I remember, I remember. Haze. Haze, oh, yeah. okay. Um, no. Haze. Uh, you haven't been talking for a while, so I forgot. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this time my memory actually failed me, which usually happens. Anyway, here we are in a second game of a final match of the Pantheon of Heroes. And uh, our finalists are Iriskin, who plays under the name of Lauta, and Stella, who plays uh, under the name of Stella Life, I believe, right? Stella, Stella Fire. Stella Fire. 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 Ah, Stella Fire. Stella Fire, not Life. Yeah. <laughs> uh, He's not as good as Life yet. <laughs> uh, definitely, definitely. <laughs> he should try playing Mozog. So, <laughs> here we are on Kuroba Gorge, not George. And George. game is actually starting. Yay. So, Maju Prussian, will you go with the builds of our participants? Okay. For, for Mr. Uh, Mr. Let's see, Lara, we have in the front uh, two light cap. One is rank one, the other is vanilla. His general, it's a regular general, and two more light cap, both rank one. One, interesting. Behind those, he does have two Oda, Oda Yari Ashigaru. Actually, one is Long Yari, not mm -hmm. Yari Ashigaru. Then two Bow Warrior Monks and Loose Formation. And behind those, he has four Katana Samurai, a Katana Hero, another Lots Long Yari, some uh, Naginata Warrior Monks. Looks like uh, he has one, two, three Naginata Monks, I believe. Four. Four. Four? Don't, don't okay. on each flank. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, yeah. That one was behind his whole arm. So, yeah, that's the build of Lauta. Yeah, and he has so, one more. Sorry, Yarashigaru. Yeah, he has for that. Oh, the Yarashigaru, yeah. Oh, yeah. Running towards the workshop. So, for Stellar, he has on his left flank a Great Guard and a Yari Calf waiting. And then he has two Chokusabe Bow Warrior Monks. Uh, two Matchlocks in the center, with both Matchlock Sams. With Yari Ash behind them, level 3, level 2, and another level 3. Then some Katana Sam's Vanilla, three of them. He actually has the expensive general, I don't know why, but he has. He always takes it. That's stupid. So, Yari Cav, <laughs> another great guard, two Light Cav, and two Bow Cav. And take a look at both warrior monks of Iriskin. Already losing that skirmishing fight uh, mm. noticeably. Yeah, mm. that's exactly what Stellar was planning. He probably figured another rush army, which he's not far off. So he's going to pull him into an attack he doesn't like. Mm. All the dojos yeah. are going the other way, though. Yeah, that's stamina. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, remaining cavalry of Risking, what is it, Maju? For oh, no, no, not risking, sorry, Stella. Uh, on his right flank, you didn't cast it all. I did say. Oh, okay. Two bow calf, uh, two more great guards, okay. So, as we can see, Stella picks uh, a bit braverish approach, giving up dodges completely and relying on uh, making his opponent attack. I do not completely agree with his um, monolithic formation. Uh, in this case, because he in sort of a volley, it's, so it would be d it's difficult. It's super laggy. Yes, it is very laggy. Indeed. I hope it's not me. Mm. Uh, why? Yeah, wait. So, Here. we have nice uh, arc from Stella. Let's see. His bow cavalry so far killed what? 13 men in this Yari Ashigaru, which is okay for medium funds, uh, completely okay. His monks are 
Well, actually, each of his monks killed uh, over 30 men, which would be like uh, 40, 45, uh, 45, right? In uh, big funds, so it's a lot. And the bow warrior monks are also doing pretty well. Like, one has 31 kills, the other one has 36. Uh, already ranked up. Uh, but look how interesting. Now, Iriskin actually gets some shot on the Machlex. Uh, he isn't able to kill these monks. So, if he manages to exchange two, two of his monks to Machlex, it actually could be a good exchange for him. Yeah. Then That's he will he just wants. rush. Yeah. He wants to attack. Uh, but he needs to get rid of Machlex, but now he's still just skirmishing. So, since nothing interesting happening, I can uh, allow myself to um, zoom in. Seems that Stellar is gonna move in or forward at least. And he was trying to decap the workshop, but he uh, was pushed back. Yep. Yeah. By two light calf. So now he bringing his own light calf and grab god to this flank. And, and game is frozen. Stuck. Man, it's yeah. very okay. laggy. It isn't for me. Hey, no, um, it's okay. I'll I'll drop off to see if it helps. Okay. Anybody else who doesn't mind quitting, just go ahead and quit so these guys can play a better match. Yeah, I'll bounce out as well. Um. Still laggy, but you might be leaving right now, so that's why. Well, it could be anyone. It easily could be still lagging. Could be both players. Yeah. Who knows? Surely. But, yeah, Lauda pretty much lost one of his bow monks. The other one is still at uh, fighting capacity, but he's moving them up now. And another interesting thing... Uh, he's moving up everything. Yeah, interesting that uh, Stella wasting uh, time, n maybe not arrows necessarily, but time of his bow cavalry, uh, focusing on that Yaria Shigaru. It is yeah. wavering, but it's a waste Gap of time. on the left flank. Those bowcap could have been killing much more important targets. Oh, yeah, and look the at this long Yara Shigaru long working as a meat shield. Nah. Oh. Calf getting charged. Oh. Counter charge with Red God. Mm, this light cavalry will not live long. Matchlocks getting charged. He's, it has, didn't pull them back in time, so matchlocks are gone. Matchlock sends. He could play. still do this because he has strong infantry. Yeah, yeah. and the workshop and the sword dojo. And for a late game, but look how nicely is this uh, spear wall meeting and uh, katana samurai just waiting behind, yeah. not actually committing. He is way too blocked up. Yeah, I see. Yeah. He's risking. Not necessary. Uh, oh, gen sniping. Yeah, now... Gen down to 12 men. And mm. he hasn't pulled it out back yet. 11. And it's not even in standard Our fight. Now it's worse than now. Uh, I actually didn't kill anything except for the horses. It actually But now the general is in the melee. Which yeah. actually may increase survivability, can it? Yeah. Against both. Uh, against both, but not against the swords. Yeah. There is huge ass blood. Gen down here. to nine men, eight. Bows of Gary Ash uh, being flanked. Bows of the only thing are out of the fight. Hmm. I think uh, Erskine is gonna win this center, and if the general gets killed, which it might, well, it's, that it might be bad. Depends on how expensive this win would be for a risking. Uh, uh, what the I thing is, no cav anymore. That's major. It's huge. Yeah. Yeah. What I mean is, uh, he, he needs a lot of infantry left, because on that it would depend. Uh, like there is no archery dojo, so bow cavalry will lose its remaining ammunition quite soon. General down to. He's actually. He's clicking attack or just on the general, I think, with all of his infantry. Which isn't that? the best uh, way to do it. Uh, he is actually routing all those units. <laughs> wow. Well, Katana sort of Samurai... Like yeah. Push. Uh, let's see. Seems, seems more like a mass route. 
uh, definitely yeah. didn't uh, pull through them. Well, no, the, the, the way that the units moved. Because he clicked an attack order on the general. Yeah. They clearly pushed forward, not actually to getting behind, but they did. Not sure what. Well, really accelerated fight and running. maybe get past that spear roll. But yeah. uh, that mechanic, uh, we did some tests with Prussian Prince. You do indeed kill spear roll much faster if you just push not through, but inside the unit. I it could be helpful. Oh. But obviously, now you this lose is some be interesting. in process. Yeah. Who will win? There's so many swords and so many cav left for Stalin that I think with good cav charges, he can still win. He's also yeah, still got course. two bow monks, he's got two bow cav, he's gonna get a couple volleys of guns, like it's yeah, impossible. He should kill those magic stems if possible and then go for the bow straight away. Actually, I think uh, still have huge advantage now. Yeah, I think he's gonna win. Yeah, just look at the... Even uh, the general of Lauta isn't actually risking... Like, yeah, it's not mounted it's, anymore. Yeah. Vulnerable. His guys oh, are also exhausted. Oh, yeah, which he stopped chasing. He stopped chasing and that he, match lock. he cannot chase them because uh, there would be farmhouse for Stella very soon. He cannot change yeah. anything, in fact. Uh, he should just get, he should have just kept going for them. I think he should just pull back. Shot. I think he should. He, pull he's back. done. We will see. We will see. Beautiful finish. Still, Stella goes. still can commit a mistake, I believe. A missile and cav versus infantry and medium unit size, that's like a dream come true. Yeah, yeah definitely. Katana Whoa. infantry, no less. He uh, really wants to go and lose formation at least. So you still get a yeah, chance. he's not doing that. The more tired guys are. Yeah. Actually... All this time, Seller can get great charges in all of those sword units, but he's not doing it. He's too lazy. Or maybe now? <laughs> well, he tries to wear down this Naginata's one by... Oh, now he but has to buy time for his missile. Which is not I, good. I hate to say it, but Lauda really should be taking his troops and camping in the trees near the one dojo in the middle so he doesn't lose. Yep. Well, the problem is his general would be exposed close. anyway. Yes. Well, there's no bulky point, so there's no replenishing. So you just have to wait till Stellar runs out of ammo. Much looks. Yeah, oh, and look at this. These monks Bokev. are getting into the Bokav, which is a oh. huge mistake. Uh, then yeah. He's only oh. killed one. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a shame. Oh, oh it's one. GG. It's over. <laughs> he killed one man. Yeah. Uh, but Cav now chasing down unit. the long yariash. Yeah. That unit is isolated, it will die. Hopefully. Yeah, it needs to uh, counter charge now. I don't Might know, be too late. if he turns? Does he? Nope. Oh no, he doesn't turn. Oh, uh, come on. Very unfortunate. But if he had, yeah, if he had turned, then the bows would have. Well, yeah, actually, but he might have taken out two Cav units. Yeah. Perhaps. Because the bows were going to the wrong side. They, he still couldn't have. If the bows kept going there, they would have gone and stopped by the water. And no, no. now all those you swords can... units on that hill only have one monk to protect them. So... <laughs> mm. Yeah, he needs to be. He needs to get them in trees somewhere. But his position on the hill actually interesting. There is no angle for Mushlux to shoot at him. Yeah. Uh, but now he's moving, and uh, there is uh, view for Mushlux. So let's get some close shots. Ooh, firing at okay. will, firing. Yes. Oh. Bam. Ouch. Look at how effective match looks are medium unit size. Our men are running and that, once again, what happens uh, when you no, give up cavalry superiority for heavy infantry. Uh, so let's see what's happening on other sides. Uh, Interesting decision. Uh, he uses two Nagi monks to actually cap farmhouse. Good idea, in my opinion. Oh, and the oh, nice. Swords Mushlux are samurai. isolated. Cat coming in from two sides, the back and the flank. 
But oh. let's not forget that it's Katana Samurai, nice they can charge. kill some. Oh, look at that. Oh. Old now firm, they... though. Oh, does he have a hero unit? The yeah, there is Katana Samurai. He started hero. hero, yeah. But now the matches will get a volley. If he's smart on the hero. He used rapid volley, but not a good use now because he needs to keep kiting. Not a good cav charge. A bit of this a push through. Easy, no? <laughs> he charged through. Um, he had attack order on this katana samurai. But well. Uh, mm. That is actually pulling through. Well, actually, he disengaging in the same direction he came from, uh, so... Oh, uh, yeah, actually, that, that those two units go back, but and I think I mean, initially he had a movement order. Yeah, but and uh, if you think about it, how would it be pulled through in the sense that rear charge penalty applied anyway? He was charged from four different sides. Yeah, it's, true. <laughs> it's still applied. Uh, Actually, we should stop talking about pull throughs at all. Yeah, it's just something. <laughs> unless there is some extensive testing, uh, but the problem is the community is plagued by that idea. Getting caught again, wavering actually, but nope, not routing. Mm. So now it's over. Yeah, GG from Maruski. one one. So tiebreaker. Yes. Uh, Get Duke ready choosing a map. Yeah, yeah, what map could it be? User left your channel. Uh, I I don't know why uh, this um, TeamSpeak announcement still uh, enabled for me. I apologize for that. So yeah, this oh, game the is lone hero unit. Four men Run. left. You can make it. You can make it. Four men. Uh, I only see one. Where are the other three? Uh, they're here, charged. Hmm. Out there. Yeah. So, interesting game. User joined your channel. Uh, Duke has chosen a map. Okay. So, uh, what was it's the difference? Though, um, nope. Okay, good. Okay, good. So, uh, let's finish with analysis of this match. bulletproof? And this is Boss Tycoon. B B G T A. So still invested heavily in cavalry while let's see. Uh Eriskin went uh, with much cheaper cavalry, he got only four light calf. Uh his extensive funds he invested in Katana Hero. Uh no much looks at all. Uh, his monks did okay, his katanas did uh, okay, one of them. Bow warrior monks, probably not worth it, both of them. Yeah, um, his Yari Ash were pretty much wasted. Well, that's that's actually okay, none of them were, uh, uh, how it's called, uh, vetted. But may maybe other long Yari were wasted uh, unnecessarily. Like, look. Two other long Yari Ashigaru uh, killed uh, 14 for two units. Uh, looking at. I still don't understand why he picked the expensive channel. Still, you mean? Be yeah, because the, the, I think the Chosu Cup. No, it's not that expensive. Yeah, yeah some of them are not expensive. Some of them are 600, but at I least suppose. Double, to yeah, 600. Double the uh, cost of a regular Chen. Yeah, two upgrades. Oh, but where is Lauta going? So, uh, for Stella, his great guards did okay. Well, quite okay. Yari cavalry, bow cavalry. So, his skirmishing component and cavalry component killed a lot in the end. Uh, so, uh, if I had to name a reason, I would say too many swords and too many units with low armor, like... Um, Miller Rush with no ability to actually stop an so opponent. So, what is the tiebreaker map so we can tell them? Duke selected Kawabe River. If okay. both players don't really want to play that, then we could do something else, but that's no, the initial choice. No, that map is awesome. And uh, see you guys in the next game.